What is far deadlier than most people realize? Serious. Asterisk asterisk a t t e n t i o n. Serious tag notice. Asterisk jokes, puns, and off-topic comments are not permitted. In asterisk asterisk a n y asterisk asterisk comment, parent or child. Asterisk parent comments that aren't from the target group will be removed, along with their child replies. Asterisk report comments that violate these rules. Posts that have few relevant answers within the first hour, and posts that are not appropriate for the serious tag will be removed. Consider doing an AMA request instead. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. Asterisk I'm a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit, slash message slash compose slash to equals slash r slash askreddit if you have any questions or concerns. Being poor, you can't afford basic healthcare, basic dental, basic decent anything, and your health pays for it. Not going to the dentist can kill you. Not being able to afford medication can kill you. Not being able to afford a day off to rest when you're feeling bad. Being broke doesn't just suck because you can't do fun stuff being broke sucks because you have to choose between your health and your immediate well-being. And hard work alone won't lift you out of that deadly negative cycle. Not sure if it's been said, but untreated sleep apnea. You literally stop breathing and get little quality sleep. The stress on your cardiovascular system is immense. Get tested. Period. Then wear the CPAP, no matter how unsexy it is. Or maybe surgery to eliminate or reduce the problem. Grapefruit in combination with many many prescription drugs. Basically, grapefruit can affect the way your medications work. With some meds, adding grapefruit screws up the way your body metabolizes the drug, so you end up with far more than the prescribed dosage. It can also work in the opposite way with other drugs, leaving you with less than the prescribed dosage. This is especially bad if you have high blood pressure or arrhythmia. This article on the FDA site explains it way better. Quit drinking. Been an EMT for a while and work with a lot of the homeless population. Will gets calls for people who decided today is the day to finally quit drinking and do it cold turkey. As soon as the next morning people can present with delirium tremens, severe withdrawals can induce seizures and can also lead to death. A lot of these people will think because they quit hard drugs like heroin or meth cold turkey alcohol would be the same without knowing the major effects it can have on your health. Edit. Guess I should add this is only for people with alcohol dependency and not all your casual or even heavier drinkers. Trucker here. I've had two blood clots in my legs from driving long distances and having my leg pressed against the corner of the seat for hours on end. One almost killed me. Apparently it's very common with truckers. You're supposed to stop and walk around every hour and a half to keep things circulating, which almost nobody does due to time constraints. The same thing happens in gaming chairs apparently. People forget to move their legs because they are so focused on the game. You don't need to worry so much if you're younger, but if you're a gamer who's a little older, please be aware. Driving while tired. All you need is that one slow part or that one part that lulls even a little to put you out. Penile fracture. If this happens to you do not hesitate to get medical help 12 weeks ago this happened to me. The tissue that fills with blood and makes the penis erect can fracture when impacted awkwardly. Bend at 45 eggs and a huge hematoma and swelling. I went the ed, and after the poor student doctor saw it, I was rushed into hospital. I was informed, if it wasn't yet surgically fixed it could mean necrosis and removal. The surgical procedure involved degloving the penis, removing the hematoma, stitching up the fractured tissue under the skin, and then stitching the skin back on. Still having nerve pain not mention the effect it years had on our sex life. A Brazilian butt lift, barrels, gives people a figure reminiscent of the Kardashians, and is hugely popular for getting that Instagram body. But a paper in the Aesthetic Surgery Journal found that 1 in 3000 BBLs resulted in death.
making it the world year's most dangerous cosmetic procedure. Testicular torsion, don't be embarrassed to ask for help. In all honesty, the embarrassment is all in your head. Doctors and nurses really don't give a fuck, they really don't care, and aren't judging you one bit. They have seen everything, and then some more. But they will judge you, if you make the foolish decision not to seek help cause of made up embarrassment, and lose your balls. The pain might not be severe, but you have a few hours tops before your balls die. Edit, to put some numbers to this, if you wait longer than 6 hours, permanent damage may occur. After 12 hours, there's a 75% chance of losing the testicle. Source. Canoeing. People misjudge currents all the time 12 year old girl died here just last weekend. Whiz. It's amazing how many people play around them, or swim just upstream of them. Almost no one knows the bottom of them is a death trap of rotating and the current and almost no one knows how to escape one, if you do get stuck in it. Even if you do know how to get out you'll have a hell of a time of it. If a kid gets stuck in one they're as good as dead, as is anyone who goes in to save them. Very few actually have warnings around them. If you unluckily get trapped in one try to swim down to the bottom and swim slash claw your way downstream along the bottom a ways and then swim up to the surface. Example. 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 They are called low head dams or run of the river dams in some parts of the world. Sometimes warning signs for them will just say dam. Keep in mind this danger is present in a time water is flowing shallow and fast over the top of something into deeper water at an angle. Even a large rock or fallen tree that has water running over it can create the same underwater trap. Mosquitoes. Those little f backslash asterisk ckers killed billions of peoples throughout the course of history by transmitting them deadly diseases. If you see a mosquito, kill it, or it might kill you. Grapefruit juice interacts with a lot of medications, and could be very harmful to you depending on the medications you take. Get the duty handled, or get a nasty kidney infection. Vacation. Particularly in nature, if you you're not used to being in nature. There is a book called Death in Yellowstone and talks about all the weird ways people have died there. Walking off cliffs, falling trees, falling into boiling water your vertical bar there is the obvious wildlife attacks, but there is plenty of less obvious ways. The thing is, people are relaxing for once on vacation, and they put themselves in different environments than they are used to, they have their guards down. Essential oils. Do not put them in your food, they are not made to be food safe. Throwing a single punch. Here in Australia it's been criminalized, because fights in pubs and clubs are pretty common. The single punch isn't what causes injury, but falling to the ground, and hitting their head on the curb can kill, especially since drunk people usually don't have the capacity to soften their fall. Think twice before you risk losing slash taking a life over losing your pride for a night. Oleander, Miriam. In fact, it's one of the most common ornamental plants in Southern California, planted in people's backyards and along freeways. The only problem is it's one of the most poisonous plants in the world. Toxic compounds include Neriocide, Alindroside, and Saponins. Holding your breath while scuba diving. To most people, who don't scuba dive it may sound harmless, but if you hold your breath, and ascend even a little over a meter you can suffer major lung damage as a result of the gas in your lungs expanding from the lessening pressure. Digging and playing in holes on the beach like I used to love to do as a kid. They cave in and smother kids. Dangers in the sand. Touching shit inside a guitar amp can fuck you up really bad. It holds a charge. And it all comes out at once, if you touch the wrong spot. Going for runs on the roads at night without wearing lights or reflectors. Oftentimes people even wear black. They think that, just because they can see the car, that the car can see them. It only takes one accident to change someone year's life completely. Smoke. It's not only the fire that can kill you, and there is a very good reason you're taught to stay alone escaping a fire. 
The smoke is a hot gas layer that can melt your face off. Edit. Since this comment has some visibility, I'm going to use it for a public safety announcement. A asterisk W O R K I N G asterisk smoke alarm is the single most effective fire safety tool you can have. By far. Early warning will save your life. Most fatal fires happen in the middle of the night, when families are asleep. The difference between life and death are only minutes apart. If you have smoke alarms in your house, make sure they are on every level, and test them regularly. If you haven't done in a while, do it now. If you don't have smoke alarms on every level of your home, go out and buy them. Your life is worth the money. Vizine. People seem to have this idea that a few drops of Vizine in someone year's drink will give them diarrhea and do it to prank each other or get some sort of satisfaction with petty revenge. People are sitting in prison for murder for doing this. The main active ingredient is called tetrahydrosoline. Once it enters your gastrointestinal tract, it can be absorbed by your intestines and end up in your blood, causing your blood pressure and heart rates to drop to potentially life-threatening levels. It really makes me wonder how many people have died due to people copycatting that scene in wedding crashes. Acetaminophen. It's rough on your liver in large doses. I know a lot of people who ignore the recommended dose and pop them, like they are skittles for pain. This is incredibly dangerous. Engulfment and confined spaces. With confined spaces, people usually don't yet realize that O2 runs out rather quickly. Engulfment because people probably don't yet think about essentially drowning in non-liquids. 